Any story that ends by recommending a nice hot cup of tea is okay in my book. Welcome to the Time Treadmill, I'm Ron, and these are my sweaty thoughts about Doctor Who. The Awakening is the last two-part story of the 25-minute era in Doctor Who. Now, there is another two-parter coming up in this season, but it's two 45-minute parts, which is a story unto itself, and I'll get to that later in the week. But in this sense, The Awakening marks the end of an era. There will never again be a story quite as short as this. It's also interesting to note that The Awakening was the last fifth Doctor story to be released on DVD. And I can understand why. It's kind of a nothing of a story. I mean, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's certainly far better than several other Fifth Doctor stories. It's kind of the least impactful, the least noteworthy, and also the writing behind it is just a little bit opaque. If you pay close enough attention, what you'll find is that script editor Eric Sayward added in some plot threads to hint that this entire story was tied into the visitation with the Terraleptals. And once you put those pieces together, you kind of better understand what's going on. The story itself has to do with the confluence of an alien pre-invasion probe that's powered by psychic energy encountering a giant battle in 1643 in this small town of Little Hadcombe. And then again in 1984, a reenactment of that battle, generating the psychic energy and linking those two time periods. And in that sense, it actually kind of reminds me of another story, another series from about the same era, and that's the first story from Sapphire and Steel, a series that I had actually never heard of until just fairly recently. And I watched on recommendation from a British friend of mine about a year ago. And again, the first story is Sapphire and Steel has to do with two time periods bleeding into each other. It's handled differently, but it's the same concept. On the whole, I think the visitation is perfectly enjoyable. It's just your basic middle of the road fifth doctor story. It's not amazing. It's not terrible. It does what it's supposed to do and it's fully entertaining and short enough that there's no padding in its runtime. There's enough there to serve the entire story start to finish and that I appreciate. So that'll wrap it up for this story. Tomorrow I move on to... Honestly, I forget what the next story is. Tomorrow I move on to a surprise. That'll be a treat. I'll see you then. Yeah.